Hey guys, we're out here at Sand Canyon Pueblo, and I'm about to blow your mind. This is literally the largest masonry ruin I have ever looked at. Now what I mean by that is the sheer amount of stone that it took to build this. We are 20 feet off the deck, maybe 15 or 20 at the base of the structure. We're now like up in the second story area. There are hundreds of, of rooms. There are 18 to 24 inch walls on the entire structure. And if you just start moving around here, it is so vast. And then you just start to calculate uh, what it took to get this rock here. We're talking that the, if this is the local Native Americans, that didn't have the wheel. How did they bring in 5,000 tons of rock? And who were the builders? I mean, what was the infrastructure? This goes on forever. Through the woods, hundreds and hundreds of tons of masonry, perfectly set. And we just, this is the tip of the iceberg. It's Chaco in style with chinking. And this, they might have covered up an entrance here. Maybe the Park Service covered this up. This may actually go inside. So, absolutely mind blowing the scale of this structure. And we, very impressed. We're, we just got here. So, this is a major blow to the stories that we've been told. This would take thousands of skilled workers years and years. And there would be a continuous train of, uh, there would have to be, of trailers of rock being brought into here somehow. This is one one thousandth of the entire building. What do you think, Alan? Massive. <laughs>